The Cleveland Guardians hosting the Chicago White Sox, and the White Sox are minus 130 on the money line. The Guardians are plus 125. The over-under is eight runs. The, it, the Guardians getting a run and a half are minus 145. The White Sox laying a run and a half are plus 125. Now, Plesak and Cease did pitch against the opposing team last year. Plesak went two-thirds of an inning, gave up six runs. They were all earned, and they lost that game 8-0. Then he gave up, he went five, gave up six, they were all earned, they lost that game eight to five. Went five and two thirds, no runs, no earned, they won that game five, nothing. Five and a third, two runs, two earned, they won that game five to three and seven. So if he doesn't give up six uh, six runs this game, there's a pretty good chance that, you know, the, the, the Guardians could win this game. Now Cease... Went three and a third, gave up six. They were all earned. They lost that game six to five. And then he went five and a third, no runs, no earned, and they won that game one nothing. Cleveland's on a two-game winning streak. The White Sox are on a three-game losing streak. Cleveland head-to-head -head is on a two-game winning streak against Chicago. These teams are five and five against each other in their past ten. The team getting a run and a half is six and four, and the under is five four and one. I'll take Cleveland with the money line, Cleveland with the runs, and I'm going over because I just read the stats for both of these pitchers, and I understand you're looking at their ERAs right now, and they're low, but seeing how they pitched against the opposing team, six runs came up a lot last time. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.